In many of Mendel's early experiments, he performed what we call monohybrid crosses, and these are crosses performed between two individuals that involves only one trait. And there are two types of monohybrid crosses that Mendel commonly performed. Let's say he were examining the color of pea plants. So pea plant color is the one trait that he's focusing on in his monohybrid cross. And what Mendel would do in his parent generation, he would cross a homozygous dominant individual with a homozygous recessive individual, so a yellow pea plant with a green pea plant. And as we know in the F1 generation, all his offspring would be heterozygous um, with a heterozygous genotype and yellow color for its phenotype. So this is the most basic monohybrid cross that Mendel did, and it's pretty much a no-brainer because all the offspring are one genotype combination. But Mendel would also perform a second monohybrid cross between his F1 offspring. So it would look something like this, big Y, little Y by big Y, little Y. And clearly this is a lot more complicated than our first monohybrid cross because now it's not as easy to figure out your offspring genotypes. So how do we figure out these um, offspring genotypes? The best way is to draw a Punnett square, written Punnett square, and it's a really simple but useful tool for figuring out the genotypes of offspring in a more complex cross. So how do we use a Punnett square? Our cross is big Y little y by big Y little y, and each heterozygous individual can produce two different gametes, as by the law of segregation. It can produce the green, or sorry, the yellow allele gamete and the green allele gamete. Same thing here, the yellow and the green. And in our Punnett square, we write on top the gamete combinations for the first individual. So the yellow allele, green allele gametes, yellow allele, green allele gametes, and this is for the second individual. So again, it's the gamete possibilities for the first individual and for the second individual. And now you can simply just fill out your Punnett square. You have in the first quadrant big Y, big Y. In the second and third quadrant, you have big Y, little y. And in the fourth quadrant, you have little y, little y. So this completed Punnett square not only tells us the genotype combinations of the offspring. It also tells us the probabilities of these genotypes. So this means that you have a 1 out of 4 or 25 percent chance, as told by the Punnett square, that your offspring will be homozygous dominant, and another 1 out of 4 chance that your offspring will be homozygous recessive, and a 2 out of 4 or 50 percent chance that your offspring will be heterozygous. So notice the 1 to 2 to 1 genotype ratio, and all crosses involving two heterozygous organisms will have this genotype ratio. We can also examine phenotype from this Punnett square. We know that big Y, big Y is yellow, and little y, little y is green, as well as um, big Y, little y is also yellow because of the law of dominance, and yellow masks green. So that means these three colored in boxes show a yellow phenotype and this one is the only one that shows a green phenotype. Again you see a ratio, a 3 to 1 phenotype ratio of dominant um, to recessive traits. And again in all monohybrid crosses that involve two heterozygous organisms, you will always have a 3 to 1 phenotype ratio. So we will end the video here, but please check out the next video, which will be more practice with monohybrid crosses and Punnett squares.